my sweethearts welcome back to my channel my name is kiki and i'm so thankful so so thankful that you're here with me today if this is your first time in here welcome on my page i love to talk about fragrances within my collection and also share some fragrance education on today's video i will be reviewing swiss praline by history performs have you heard about this one well if you'd like to know my thoughts why don't you get settled Get hydrated, let's get into the video. So backstory, I found out about this fragrance during one of my browsing days on Max Aroma, I think about two months ago or thereabouts. And what really piqued my interest was that there's literally no information about this brand or even this fragrance anywhere on the internet, not even on Perfumo or Fragrantica, yet Max Aroma carries it. So I'm like, hmm, this should be interesting. Also, it stated that the fragrance is an extract of form and it's the notes in here or the notes listed like are things up my alley. So I was like, you know what? Let's get it. What is the worst that's going to happen? I probably have to resell it or maybe gift it to someone. So the only thing I could find out about this brand is that they seem to have launched in 2022 and they're based out of Turkey. Most of their fragrances were launched as well in 2022. Also, all their fragrances are extra performed and handmade, which I really, really love. But there is nothing else about them. There is no website. Literally nothing can be found. I did do some snooping and I found them on Instagram and they seem to have like their first posts sometime in 2022. So I don't know what is going on, but at least Max Aroma ha carries it, and I'm very confident in the products that they sell. So here's the box. Um, it comes with this beautiful metallic brown and gold-like design. At the front, you have the name of the fragrance and the brand listed, and right behind it is a backstory on a key note, in this case, praline. It talks about the history of praline and how it's used in current times and also you have the notes of the fragrance and yeah basically the name here as well i think it's really cool but the best part about the packaging is the box it's made of wood y'all i love it it's plain it has history printed in here and it's magnetic so it's like it's, oh <laughs> It's magnetic, it has magnetic um, pins in here, and you have the fragrance resting in here as well. The way I see it, this box can be used like a jewelry box, or you know, you can keep something special in here. It has the name of factory elements. I don't know what that means or refers to, but that's what you see here. And look, the pack. Oh my god, y'all, stop. This is such a dangerously sweet and sexy fragrance you will smell so good enough to eat i kid you not best believe that if you spray this on yourself and someone smells you they are thinking of getting a bite off of you that's it if you spray this on yourself and your partner smells this and your husband or your wife smells this they're thinking of two words eat you nothing in between okay do not say i did not warn you eat you that's what's going to be flashing boom 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 <laughs> but seriously this is so good and here are the notes at the top we have bergamot rum vanilla and praline the sweetness from that praline oh my goodness then we have cinnamon tonka bean and oak moss at the middle and at the base we have vanilla and sandalwood early on what i can say is that this reminds me of two fragrances that people love so it has the sweetness the thickness the density of angel share by Kirian, yes and then it has the creaminess the warmth the coziness that um milk plus by commodity brings now mix those two together you have this fragrance with an extra dose of rum okay this right here swiss praline is a perfect 
merger of nuts and sweetness and booze okay that's all you're getting here so if you're a gourmand lover like me who loves those three elements your cravings will be sorted with swiss praline it is so delicious what i imagine this smells like is freshly baked praline which is a dessert in new orleans it's like a southern dessert um, it's ridiculously sweet it has like pecans um, and caramelized sugar and some butter and some milk all together sometimes there's a heavy dose of chocolate um, in this case I can smell some chocolate in here even though it's not listed in the notes what this smells like is freshly baked praline with an extra drizzle of very thick caramel and melted chocolate now imagine you're eating this praline and then the caramel and the chocolate are dripping down your hands and the, it's just extra gooey now that's what whoever smells this would imagine you have like you're eating that and you're dripping of the chocolate and the caramel and all they're thinking of is licking that off of you and biting your hands and biting you off and just you being the rest of the dessert that I'm sorry for that image I concocted but that's what this comes up when you wear it it's so decadent it is such an addictive fragrance that is well executed like it feeds off my desire for booziness in the fragrance the the nuts in the fragrance the sweetness in the fragrance i get all of that from this swiss praline so at the initial spray you get an immediate blast of the citrus note but that quickly disappears and that's from the bergamot in fact, I don't know why the bergamot is here. It's like one of those people who just show their faces and they go out. They're like, I don't want to be in this party. Why did you add me here? I just, you know, came in to say hello and I'm out. That's how bergamot performs in this fragrance. It comes and it just goes. But the rum here is very linear. It's so potent. It's what you can smell from the start to the finish. It doesn't go away. Also, there's a heavy sweetness, a very potent sweetness that rum brings. So rum is largely made of sugar. I think 95% of rum is sugar that has been distilled and fermented from, you know, sugar cane. So there's that sweetness that is very potent, not, um, not an immature type of sugar, if I, if I can put it that way. So have, you have that present in this fragrance as a very sticky, um, element that holds all of the notes together so that sweet quality from the sugar and then the the heavy booziness works so well with this fragrance making it very intoxicating there's also something smoky in here now i know that um there is no oak wood mentioned here but i feel like i can smell the oak wood from this fragrance which also leans towards angel share angel share has oak wood this one has oak moss which has that very wet earthy slightly bitter nuance to it and i won't lie sometimes that bitterness shows up but goes away like it's just um it's like a ghost it like comes and goes but the sugar just covers everything so don't be worried about it the sillage that this fragrance brings oh my gosh you literally will fill up the room in terms of the projection but when you step away or step into a place or walk past people are going to smell you i can't count the amount of compliments i've got on this fragrance since i got it in fact as recent as a few days ago i went out on a walk um it was drizzling here and i got compliments from like a couple like they just enjoyed what i was wearing and this was the only fragrance that i had on on that day also in terms of like the way it lasts y'all this sticks to your clothes this is one of those fragrances that sticks it permeates through thick clothing the jacket that i have that I had that i wore when i got the compliments i would not forget like two days after i was getting wax of the fragrance when i just picked it up i could smell it i was like this really smells good and i think the more it stays on your clothes the better it performs the better it just smells there's something about this fragrance it's just 
it's a well well rounded fragrance and you know how they say aged um rum or aged liquor tastes better i guess that's what's happening with this fragrance like the more the the, the booziness comes out of this fragrance the more it smells well rounded it, it smells quite mature it smells very addictive it smells like something you just want to keep sniffing on and that's again why it's enjoyable in colder weather because the 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 warmth the the warmth the, from the um the heat from the rum is something you just want to t take in when the weather is really really cold and you just want to cuddle in but again do not wear this and cuddle up with someone i beg you <laughs> you're gonna have a junior <laughs> <laughs> I digress <laughs> honestly I digress but yeah don't wear this when you're cuddling up I promise you Valentine's Day is around the corner don't do this to yourself I beg you inflation is at an all time high <laughs> let's be serious this is a fragrance that will stick to you stick to your clothes projects so well and leaves a phenomenal very intoxicating, very um, interring, uh, centric. Well, the more I smell this fragrance, it reminds me of another one which I truly love, and that is Oriental Enigma by Alexandra J. This is a Harold exclusive. Um, the difference, though, is that this one is a bit sparkly and bubbly and area, but this one is thicker, is more dense. It's more fluffy, it's more full bodied, and then the praline here has that extra dose of chocolate that even though it's not called out, I can smell it here. This to me is another fragrance that is completely unisex. I do not mind a man wearing this. However, I think you know women would enjoy this more. If you love nut-based fragrances that are sweet, very boozy, just get your hands on sweet sweet praline. I love it so much it's delicious it's very sexy okay it's very addictive it is oh my gosh I am adding this to my list of fragrances for Valentine's Day it is so good so so good at the time of filming this I know that Max Roma just had two bottles hopefully you can get your hands on this it is a delight to have it's an extra to perform I promised myself this year that if I'm buying any fragrance going forward, it has to be extra to perform or a long lasting fragrance. I am no more spending my money on fragrances that do not perform well. It's pointless to do so. So this one did absolutely everything. I give it full marks for performance, for smell, for everything the packaging i love that it's you know the box is wooden that being said it's been a pleasure of mine to have brought this ridiculously gorgeous fragrance to you have you heard about this swiss praline is an amazing addition to my collection i hope you get your hands on it i hope you sample it or try it and you know let's get to engage and talk about fragrances you would like for me to bring to you i have a lot in my collection and i guess i will be doing more single fragrance reviews because to me it's much more fun to just bring my thoughts to you about each of them and just create images of how the fragrances work um, for me and what i can get from the fragrances thank you so much for being here with me today please take the time to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't share it across your platforms and you know the growth and engagement really helps me connect to other fragrance lovers across our community. Thank you so much for your time. Do not forget, you are beautiful, and I will see you in my next video this week. Take care now. Mm -hmm.